It was 1966 when the United Nations declared March 21st as the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. From apartheid, the system of segregation that existed in South Africa through most of the 20th century, down to simple name-calling, reducing discrimination, be it racial, sexually orientated, ability-related, or faith-based, is bound to better the world we live in. And that's the message that the Central Vancouver Island Multicultural Society wants to convey through its Journey to Inclusion art exhibition. Looking at the d discrimination that exists, but also uh, those moments when someone who has been discriminated against has felt included in society and what that looks like and how we can build on that. So, uh, the idea finds its success in teamwork. Various local and talented artists have been paired with community members who have experienced the bitter reality of discrimination and the positive influence of inclusion. And working together, their stories are reflected in the art. To hear from them about the discrimination they have encountered, but also what inclusion looks like through their eyes and how we can build a, a community where everybody has a sense of belonging. As Heather Porteous works with artist Peter Moon, they explore the issues through words and symbolism. And I like how the Negroes are having his head down and not so on. It doesn't look happy because of maybe the other eagles were teasing him and stuff. I just think it's beautiful. On one side of the piece, it's got words that are not very nice. The negative side, it's the background's all black. The eagle is only one side of the eagle with its head down. And the eagle is going to have a teardrop coming. And down below the eagle is going to be a puddle when someone's, you know, putting you down. What's gonna be in the puddle is what drains that from you, like your pride, your self-love, um, self-respect, because when, you know, someone puts you down, you know, in a way, a bit of it, you start believing yourself. Yeah. Like, we don't want people concentrating on the negative yeah. stuff. And so, for the dramatic contrast, the positive side of Peter and Heather's art is meant to shine. The positive side, which is the yellow with a full eagle, um, stand proud with its wings. It's gonna have uh, positive words. It's got words that are very nice, like respect, and it's got um, how we feel about how people treat us, yeah. who are di people who are different, how they get treated and that. Words of encouragement that, you know, everybody likes to hear, should hear. Acceptance, yes. Love and acceptance. Yeah, yep. I agree with that. With Heather, like I said, it's been an honor to listen to her story and for her to open up and, you know, trust me enough with her story. The Journey to Inclusion art exhibit opens Thursday, March 21st at 3 p.m. at the Port Theatre and will be on display until April 12th. So I hope people just take away a feeling that we need to, we need to come together more, we need to respect each other more. That maybe they might say hi to somebody who's different on the street. In Nanaimo, I'm Jocelyn Matui.